Hey everyone, and thanks for joining me today. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over getting started with PopDoc. So if you're watching this, you've probably already started your free trial or are thinking about starting a free trial, which is great. Uh, and the first thing that comes with that is going to be creating a new account. So we're going to start by choosing create a new account. And from here, we're just going to be inputting our credentials. Okay, once that's all set up, we can choose Start Trial. And this is gonna bring us to a welcome page. So we have Welcome to PopDoc, uh, and it's just gonna gather some information about applications that you might be using in your day-to-day -day life. So we'll choose Let's Get Started. And, you know, let's say we're using some accounting, some CRM, and maybe some email marketing. After we've selected the applications that we use, we'll proceed to the next page. So we use Dynamics 365 Business Central, we use some GP, or I guess our main one would be Dynamics 365 Business Central. So we'll select that one and we'll go to next. And for CRM applications, Dynamic CRM. For email marketing, we're going to use Drip. And then we'll choose Connect. And of course, if you don't see any that you use or you don't use any of those, you can just select this and it'll just proceed to the next page. Um, but we'll choose Connect. And then we're going to choose Authorize. So after you've entered, it'll then kind of come to this page and prompt you for your you know, Dynamics credentials, your GP credentials. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to segue real quick into how to find those credentials that we were just looking at in the PopDoc trial setup. So the first one that it's looking for for Dynamics 365 Business Central is going to be your username. And that's going to essentially be the email address that you log into Office 365 with. So I can just go up here and it's going to be listed there. So that's that's the username that's taken care of. The next one that it wants is the web access token. And a lot of people can get tripped up on this. So I wanted to go over this just so we can, if you wanted to follow along with the video, we can just do it that way. So I normally go here and we just want to do a search for users. And that's going to pull up our page of users. Down here, I'm going to find myself. Here I am. And on this page, you're going to find your web service access key. Uh, I've already generated one, of course. If you do not have one, it'll give you the option to generate a key. And that's what you'll input into the, uh, the credential section of the PopDoc trial. Now, the next one is the tenant ID. So I'm going to flip over here. And I'm just referencing an article from Microsoft's knowledge base here. Um, one way to find it is logging into your Azure Active Directory portal as an administrator. Um, under the manage section, you want to just click properties and that's going to be shown in the directory ID box. Or if you have Microsoft Azure PowerShell module, you can just run this simple script and it's going to prompt you for your Office 365 credentials. Once you input those, your tenant ID is listed in the output. Um, so again, I just wanted to wheel back and touch on this. Of course, if you do get stuck though, please reach out to the PopDoc team. We can definitely help you find the information that you need. Um, but once all that has been input, it's going to bring us to the next page that we're going to be looking at, which is a brand new pop doc screen, and we're going to be adding some lists. So I will see you guys over there. Okay, so now that we've input the credentials needed for each of our connectors, it's going to bring us to this page. And this is going to be the main homepage that you'll see each day when you log into pop doc. Let's start by building our first list. So I'm going to choose add new tab. I'm going to choose our Dynamics 365 Business Central connector. Choose our company. Let's do purchasing and purchase orders. And I'm going to click add. PopDoc is then going to reach out to Dynamics 365 Business Central and pull back the data that we requested. Now, keep in mind any data that's available in Dynamics 365 Business Central is going to be available in PopDoc. So it's going to be that cloud-based reporting, and it's going to be updated as you update it in Dynamics 365. 
we can of course add more columns. So let's add due date and let's see what else we can add. The status. As we can see, it appends these columns to our list. PopDoc also allows you to filter this data. You can add any number of filters that you want. And then when you've found a good list created through filters or joins, you can of course favorite this list and you can share that with your team and just have it pop up each morning when you log into PopDoc. From here, we're gonna move over to Dynamics 365 Business Central and show how PopDoc is available within that dashboard. I'll see you guys over there. So we can see here that I've logged into my Dynamics 365 Business Central account. If you've installed the Business Central components from AppSource, you're gonna gain access to an extra menu under reporting for PopDoc. So once we choose that, it's gonna have a lot of the same functionalities that you'll get from the PopDoc browser. So why not take a look at our purchase orders list? We can see here it's the same data we were just looking at over in PopDoc. And of course we can add more columns. We can filter just like we could on the PopDoc browser. So there's a lot of capabilities that you can do and there's a lot of data that you can drill down into that PopDoc makes easy and it's gonna save you a lot of time in your day-to-day -day workflow. And looping back here, I wanted to show you a PopDoc dashboard that I prepared earlier that's gonna give you an idea of what yours will look like as you build more and more lists. As you can see, I can jump from my Dynamics GP sales line items list to my open Zendesk tickets to my marketing opportunities within Dynamics 365 Business Central. Now normally you'd probably have to go to three to four different dashboards to access that data, but within PopDoc, it's just simply a matter of switching through your tabs and lists. So that was an introduction on getting started with PopDoc. If you still have any lingering questions or wanna learn how to do a specific task within PopDoc, we have some great resources for you, starting with the help section on your PopDoc homepage. This is gonna include our knowledge base that includes articles on adding connectors, calculated fields, building custom lists, it's all there. We also have a great YouTube channel that includes PopDoc demos, connector capabilities, and tutorial videos. I just wanted to thank you again for your time today, and you can always reach us at sales at popdoc.com. Thank you.